very prescient Thomas Jefferson. Here's what I was starting to mention to you. Here's a song that's heard a lot. Okay, This is the New Zealand version of it, or a New Zealand version of it. What sort of image do you have in your mind when you hear this of the singer? Let's listen to a little bit of it. All right, then. So, Bruce Lane, what image... Uh, if, um, thank you for letting me spring this on you. What image do you have in your mind of the singer? Oh, somebody in a nightclub uh, um, singing happily... Um, an older woman? I, I would say mid 40s. All right. Bomber Bradbury? Do I have to be the Simon Cowell here? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I just. She, she, sounds, she sounds young to me, and the reason why I'm going to throw that out there is because it just. That is one of those songs that you need to know the word, what they mean. And, 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 and when you're singing it, there has to be a certain, I think, life experience that goes with that song, and I'm not hearing it. That's what I'm saying. I'm not hearing the life experience. Impressed with the voice? Oh, obviously. I mean, I think it's a very, 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 very impressive voice. No problems. But I'm just saying I've got a... I think this is the problem. They had someone singing this a couple of what last year in, in the UK, and I think the same problem was there. She was quite young, and she, I don't think she knew the meaning. She was about 19, I think, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, Her, yeah. I've forgotten yeah. the name. Yep. Well, uh... Last November, we had 12-year-old Aucklander Ella Yelich O'Connor playing for us on New Zealand Live. She is now 13. 13. <laughs> That's an amazing voice for a 13-year-old. Ella Ooh. and uh, young guitarist and drummer uh, Louis MacDonald met through school, singing in the Belmont Intermediate School rock band, and Louis was a Takapuna grammar, and they started jamming after she won a Belmont Intermediate Idol competition. And she's now year nine at Takapuna Grammar, and they recorded that about two weeks ago at, at the depot in Devonport, which was Ella's first time in a studio, and Louis was on piano. Well, I can pick him, can't I? But they are two terrifically talented young people. My, my, my former school, Takapuna Grammar. There you go. Yeah, very, me me very too. Happy. Oh, get out of town. Look at that. <laughs> Turns out tremendous talent. And she's done a bit of recording with Ricky Morris, it says here. And the record companies are having a bit of a listen to her, and I'm not surprised. So congratulations on your recording debut, Ella Yelich O'Connor, and also young Louis MacDonald. A couple of texts coming in about uh, bits and pieces. It seems off, says Tom, that body-painted women are fine for fashion shows, mall promos, and Air New Zealand ads but sexist for rugby functions. So thank you, Tom. That's an aspect we'll discuss. And John says, Jim, I think scrapping the offside rule would make football less frustrating and could even be exciting to watch. <laughs> says John. <laughs> I see you relate to that. Uh, we've been discussing this issue, and you've prob both probably been on the panel when we've had a go at a version of it, the reduced licensing hour uh, in Invercargill most recently where the pubs can't stay open all night through a compact among publicans and the police report a 59% drop in offending. Wow. Barry O'Connor says, I'm in my mid-70s, and Barry describes a youth culture where they got away with what they could regarding drinking, but he says it was incredibly different in those days. You would more of the young working for a living in a totally different and less casual 